Have you ever felt the same way? You invest a lot of time in planning a course. You think very carefully about what you want the students to learn from you. You design presentations and try to bring momentum into the course with activating elements. Your students, on the other hand, show little interest and have no desire to participate. For her, the only thing that counts is apparently to have a good exam grade at the end. Professor Muller used to feel the same way. Professor Muller teaches statistics in various courses of study and his frustration grew. In his lecture, he tried to pass on as much content as possible to his students through a lecture. From time to time, he also asked quiz questions to repeat the content. However, only a few students took part, which is why he soon stopped this attempt at activation. No matter how detailed he went into individual topics in his apprenticeship contract, the students simply didn't know what to do with his application-oriented exam questions. Although most of them barely managed to reproduce definitions, the calculation of statistical quantities caused difficulties for almost all students. Let's look at this situation from the perspective of his students. Like many of her fellow students, Nina would like to achieve a good final grade in the course in order to have better job opportunities later with a good certificate. In Professor Muller's lecture at the time, however, she simply did not find any orientation as to what she should learn. She felt overwhelmed in view of the upcoming exam. She did not participate in the quiz questions because she simply could not see their relevance for the exam. In short, Nina and many of her fellow students were also very frustrated in this lecture. But what is the problem? Professor Muller and Nina went into the course with different starting points. Professor Muller thought in advance about what content he would like to bring to the students and planned his course on this basis. How he structured his exam was initially of secondary importance to him. For Nina, on the other hand, a good exam performance has top priority, which is why she wants to plan her commitment to the course primarily on the basis of the exam requirements. Last semester, Professor Muller came across a seminar on constructive alignment at his university's Center for Higher Education Didactics, which was intended to help him plan his courses. With the alignment of his course with the principles of this approach, things are actually going better. Students participate more in the course and worry less about the exam. This is also reflected in the good examination results. Both Professor Muller and the students have been much more relaxed since then. But what did he do differently? And how can you benefit from this approach? Constructive alignment is an approach to course planning and goes back to the psychologist John Beeks. Three elementary factors of the course are coordinated with each other. These are learning objectives, examinations and teaching or Learning. According to this approach, you as a teacher must therefore consider, what learning goals should my students be able to achieve by attending my course? And how deep should the corresponding processing processes be? What form of examination can I use to assess the achievement of these learning objectives? And what teaching methods can I use to support students in successfully passing the exam or exam? In achieving the learning objectives? If you coordinate the three elements well and make this process transparent, your students will get more guidance on how to plan their learning activities and their engagement in the course. If students want to do well in exams, they will not be able to avoid learning exactly what you as a teacher consider important in an appropriately planned course. Back to Professor Muller. He has revised his course on the basis of the principles of constructive alignment. In doing so, he found that there had been no indications to his students so far as to what goals he was pursuing with the course and what the exam would look like. His methods have also not been adapted to the exam questions so far. He now begins the course with a brief overview of the learning objectives and shows how they will be taken up in the exam at the end of the semester. In order for his students to be able to better solve the tasks for calculating statistical quantities in the exam, Professor Muller uses appropriate methods. He has thus coordinated his learning objectives, the exam and the teaching methods. Professor Muller has recognized the added value of event planning according to constructive alignment and would now like to revise his other courses accordingly. 
You too dare to give it a try.